You can do it. Further adventures in Japan. I really want to know what is going on in this hallway that two witches would be having a meeting. Inquiring minds want to know. Hello, all you wonderful people. And greetings from Osaka Station, which is basically like Osaka's version of Grand Central Station. There is a literal cavalcade of people here and things to do and places to eat at. Or you could also get on the train. And if you just get off the train in Osaka, this place is a little overwhelming. You never know what you're gonna see. Like, apparently they're promoting for a race with very attractive women. While the train station may be the main attraction and what brings people here, there are a ton of shops and restaurants just in the next building over. And also, apparently a place where you can see Panasonic's tech on display. Panasonic is pretty much a household name, but in Japan, it used to be known as National, but they have recently changed it to Panasonic completely in Japan. So if you see a brand that says National, the same font as Panasonic, it's Panasonic. You, you got the Japanese version. I don't know how you got that unless you live in Japan. Walking in, just seeing some air conditioning units in the jungle. I don't know what to expect here. So far, this reminds me of something you'd see at Epcot, like the house of the future. Today, you can go see what a toilet will look like in your own home or what your house would look like if you happen to live in an old Japanese village with ninjas and samurai fighting every day outside. Kind of find that place where Kill Bill was shot because you'd be like, oh, it's a fake, it's a front, I've been lied to. Or if you have any dreams, you could imagine that you live in front of the ocean and can always watch the sunset in front of your giant wall that's actually just a projection, which when you think about it, that's kind of a bit depressing. It's like living underground. If you wanted to live in that ultra slick 70s future, you could live here and also have a hobbit door for when the hobbits come over and visit you. I think if you want to go to the moon, you can buy this thing. And uh, then when you go to sleep, you'll wake up and you'll be on the moon. <laughs> you are looking at the future. This is the wheel. And then they made gears and shifters and life became good. <laughs> and on the seventh day, he rested and made avant-garde art projects. If you wanted to take pictures, there's a miniature here, just so you can see what kind of pictures you take on miniatures. Of course, your main focus is when you're taking pictures, probably much bigger in real life. Look at that, you got Route 66 up there. That's where Justin Scard is right now, but you got this American garage. If I wanted to feel what it was like to want to fix bikes and fix cars, this would be my dream. You know, I'm actually quite the handyman. I know all these tools. This is a keychain, this is a C-clamp, this is wire. And those are all wrenches. I can pretty much fix anything. So if anyone needs any extra help at their house, I'm always open for odd jobs. You just gotta pay for me to come out from Japan to be there. But I can be there in like a day but you have to also pay for me back. I'm great, okay? Just call now, there's a number down on the bottom, please call right now. People are waiting to make me come to your house and fix your garage with this 17 wrench, okay? I'm ready for you. <laughs> this is a convection oven? Yeah, it's a convection oven, but it looks like it's connected to the internet. Like, can I, can I buy stocks on this thing? I want 10 stocks. I got 10 stocks, I'm a billionaire, I'm rich. Ooh, look at this. You could be like on the Starship Enterprise. Ooh. Okay, Leave me up, Scotty. Hey, that's me. Hey. If you wanna have a uh, study night, well, here you go. I think you got some, some lights up here. Oh. Now it's quite, quite time to watch TV. Everyone shut up. You know, this really wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. Okay, this is looking like a high-tech Ikea now. With crazy Japanese toilets. But as I'm walking through the demo kitchens and everything, I'm thinking to myself, I bet you, right now, you at home, probably have something that was made by Panasonic. But do you know where Panasonic comes from? <laughs> well, the answer is Osaka. And I happen to know where it started from, the building where Panasonic started from, this whole massive corporation came from. So let's go see the origin of Panasonic.
Why not? But first, I have a date with a razor. It's time to say sayonara to this beard. Run around the world, singing them sad songs for you. I'm a country singer, look at me. I hope you got the blues. From once there was a beard, and now there is not. I really don't like beards on me. I think they make me look old. They look great on other people, but I also really don't like looking like a troll or someone that's coming out of a country music band. Oh my God, I farted. Now let's go see where Panasonic started. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Where are you around here? I don't know. If you find yourself near Turahashi, which is Korean town, and you can see this multi-story life, if it's still here, because it's here today and everything is temporary. You'll see a random sign that looks like it's pointing to nothing. This is telling you where you are. There's a river here, and this is where Panasonic started. So if you're looking for it, you really have to go through some residential areas. So you've got to be a Panasonic super fan <laughs> or someone who likes history of technology or history of a Pacific company to try to find this place. We got a second sign here. We got to go down this way and take a left and a left. I really want to know who did the power lines in Japan. I think it was MC Escher. <laughs> it's just a a magination of a lot of different wires then right up here should see a demon house huh oh this is it this is where Panasonic first started from right here it's hard to imagine but here's a sign that says that this is where Panasonic started from which was once called national so a giant corporation started from a house that is now covered in onis. It looks like a peach, a momo, and uh, telling you to stay away. We already got demons in here. I think it's a private residence now. It definitely looks like But one. it's hard to imagine that a giant company started from this small, tiny building. Of course, everything out here in Japan is small and tiny, but it's incredible to think a massive corporation that you know of, I know, we've all heard of Panasonic started from right here. And remember, big things come from small places. And with that, I'm going to say you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. You guys stay groovy and have a wonderful day. And if you're a demon, stay away from the Panasonic place. It's super scary. Ooh.